Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we have some breaking news relating to FIFA 23 Ultimate Team, and it kind of corresponds with some of the mistakes that EA have been making recently in FIFA 23. They have made two really big mistakes that I want to talk about in today's video, the first of which benefits us, but the other one we just don't understand, right? And we'll take a look through that because it's impacting the market as well. The content that was dropped yesterday in the store and SBCs is really making some prices drop on this market. And even one of those mistakes EA made is affecting some prices right now. So we're going to talk about all of that today, especially with the League One guaranteed SBC dropping in FIFA today. We'll talk about what that could do to the game and the market. And of course, where's our OUR flashback, man? We, it feels like we're waiting for that Rafael Guerrero or for the Allen St. Maximin SBC from a couple weeks ago. We had the leak and we just haven't seen the SBC yet. Where is OUR flashback, man? We want it. So we'll talk about that a little bit in today's video as well. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. First of all, content yesterday, a little bit less than what we expected, right? We were hoping for that OUR flashback SBC. Instead, we did not get it. We had just two SBCs yesterday. A lot of the hype actually came from the store. We'll talk about that, of course, in a minute. We had the Super League TOTS upgrade pack, which was expected, and it was cheap as expected. 20k to do if you got anything good. I mean, GG's because Icardi, Mertens, Valencia, like those are the top three. Barini's not bad, but not a lot of insane pulls there. Just a nice SBC to do to at least have a chance of packing something cool and maybe trying out a new card. We also had the 83 times three pack, right? Remember that one that we were like, oh yeah, it's going to have a really good chance of packing a team of the season card. It does, right? But of course, like we've seen a lot this week, what do you pack out of these packs? You're packing Andre, Samba, Todibo, Cabela. The low tier pack weight is just so high for these League One Team of the Season cards. It is crazy. And I feel like that were the most popular cards we saw out of this E League One Final SBC today uh, or yesterday. But still, it's a bit expensive if you're thinking about it. You're turning in 50k technically for three cards. But if any of you guys are opening 80 plus player picks, League One Premium Upgrade uh, packs right now, it's really cheap to craft that SBC because player picks are very good and the League One premiums are decent as well. So right now, again, it's really easy to get fodder with those two SBCs being there which is very nice for crafting. Now, the big content yesterday actually came in the store. They refreshed, because I already opened them, they're gone for me, but they refreshed the 25,000 coin League One player pick, the same one that we saw on Friday that really supplied a lot of these League One team of the season cards and League One player prices, guys, are dropping like crazy. This might be a low point for some of these cards. As you look at guys like Jonathan David down over 100k, Barati's 300,000 coins, Nuno Men's is 270. Even on the low tier, Fofana was like 90k yesterday, now he's 45,000 coins. A lot of these price drop-offs happened solely because of that player pick pack in the store, right? That's where a lot of the supply is hitting on the market and more movements with these cards today, which we're going to talk about a little bit later because of that guaranteed TOTS pack that is coming. Now, let's take a look at the mistakes, right? The two mistakes that I mentioned in the intro of this video that EA made either yesterday or recently in this game. The first one was yesterday and it comes from objective content. Maybe you guys saw this yesterday. They dropped a foot champions playoffs plus objective, which right away you think, oh, W, right? There's two different XP uh, boosts that you get inside of here. I mean, 2,500 XP is a lot. This is something for me that I have to definitely go and grind for to get the XP to move up towards level 30 and complete the season swaps. The problem with this is, and the reason why this is actually a mistake, and I mean, really poor timing from EA Sports is um, the timing of this. They dropped it on a Tuesday, right? And think about it. I mean, a lot of people get done with their weekend league still on the weekend, and they play champs qualifiers to get ahead for the next week and the weekend league if you had already qualified for foot champs or were in the middle of it this objective for you was dropped at a very poor time because you have to play 10 and play seven games and for some people that have already completed champions playoffs this objective will be very hard for them to complete because they'll have to get it done 
on the weekend. Now, kind of going into that and thinking about that, there are some workarounds with this. But let's take a step back. For anybody who has not played Foot Champs yet, which is myself, I am not qualified for this next week of Foot Champs. This objective is a W because at the same time, EA did gift out the 1,250 rivals points that are needed to get into the Foot Champs qualifiers. So that is nice of EA to do that, of course. Kind of makes sense that they do that and then also uh, give out this uh, objective for more rewards for playing Foot Champs playoffs. But it's just really it's poor timing, right? Because if you've already qualified, you're stuck because you're like, okay, if I've already qualified, then I have to play my weekend league and play this objective and play playoffs during the weekend. I believe this objective is going to end up um, going away on Saturday or Sunday. I think it's going to go away on Sunday. Four days, 14 hours is when this uh, objective disappears. So Sunday at content drop time, this goes away. So you're going to have to get your weekend league games done before then uh, to then play playoffs, play 10 games, and then play seven to get the, of course, uh, the matches played for the XP that you need. Now, there's some kind of weird situations and some workarounds. If you're in the middle of the playoffs right now, let's say you've got like three or four wins, but you haven't maybe hit the rank to hit, get actually rank four, or rank five, whatever it is to actually move into the um, weekend league qualification. I think if you stop the playoffs and you can reset, you can end playoffs and like go back to the beginning and start from fresh and start from zero, you will be able to play champs playoffs again. I just don't know if it's going to give you the qualification points. That's kind of the only tricky thing that if you're in the middle of playoffs, um, you know, and you're not technically qualified for weekend league yet, however, however far you are in that, you might be able to end your playoffs. I think you can do that with the triangle button or the Y button if you're on Xbox um, and then get your rewards and then restart. But you may lose out on some of those quality points and have to go play rivals to get your points. That'd be a mess. So that's, it's really a mess, right? And it's just a, a situation that was created because EA should have dropped this objective on, let's be honest, this should have been dropped on like Sunday, Monday at the latest, because if you think about it, so many people still finish their weekend league, even though weekend league is extended now until Wednesday morning. People don't play qualifiers uh, just at the second half of the week. I'm sure EA see that in their analytics that a lot of people do, but this should have honestly been early in the week. So that's a mistake for me, for EA, um, especially because they just created some weird situation now with people trying to get that done. And especially if there's XP involved, there's a lot of demand to get that objective done. So that's mistake number one. Now, mistake number two is the good one. Actually, not for me, because this one benefits people who have already finished foot champions. And you may have seen the tweets. I, I quote tweeted this tweet a few hours ago before this video goes live. EA tweeted, and I don't know how we didn't realize this, that there was an issue. Sissoko, Ben Yedder, and Verratti were not being included as a part of League One Foot Champs red player picks. Impacted players who previously opened League One Foot Champs TOTS player items will be corrected rewards, will receive corrected rewards in the coming days. So compensation. If you opened your Foot Champs rewards, I'm guessing before this was tweeted out, which was May 30th at 724 p.m., uh, US time, which is like just after midnight, I believe UK time uh, on the 31st. If you open your reds before then, I think, or at least a couple hours before that, you are going to get another set of red picks. Now, I remember this very, very clearly from a couple of years ago during La Liga team of the season. And if you uh, they, they released the wrong red picks during that as well, and or like the weight was off, or there were players missing, and uh, it was a it was crazy because everybody was getting these player picks once again because they had already opened their rewards, and it's gonna be the same situation all over again. People are going to be getting basically free player picks. If you got rank um, one, you're gonna get all those player picks back. If you got rank four or five, of course, you're gonna get your two player picks back, and you're gonna get another chance at packing uh, a red. Tots champs card of this League One team this season, which is really cool. This is one of those kind of uh, events that happens, an EA mistake, if you will, that especially if you've completed champs already, you're like, sick, I get free red picks, right? It's awesome. So with that being said, I think that is why another reason that these team of the season cards from League One are down bad. Look at these price drops, guys. I mean, yesterday, of course, we had some pretty significant price drops where this player pick in the store was um, supplying these guys tradable. Ben Yetter on Tuesday was 814,000 coins. He went all the way to 700k. I actually bought one at 720 because I was like, oh, hey, that's really low. I think he might rebound back. And then EA tweeted this. 
uh, and the supply kept coming in. And this guy now, he was just 630,000 coins for this Ben Yedder card. And when I take a look at the market at a lot of these cards that are being listed up, it's not all first owner supply, right? You can really tell what's happening on the market by taking a look at what types of cards are being listed. If I look at Ben Yedder, whose price is actually going back up a little bit now, a lot of the cards that I'm seeing listed up here are not basic chemistry style, zero games played first owner. It's not cards that people are packing from those player picks or from store packs in general, or maybe even from weekend league rewards. A lot of what I'm seeing here specifically on like the Ben Yedder and the Varati who were not in red picks before, evidently, um, a lot of people are selling. Look at all these cards here with uh, chemistry styles on them and games played. A lot of people are selling these cards because they fear that their prices are going to drop after people get compensated with these red player picks and, uh, you know, people get these cards untradeable. Now, I have some news for you. First of all, how fast has compensation been taking this year? I mean, how often, you know, the compensation that we just got, the Encore player pick with that Hero player pick, and the Community Tots pack that gave out the Moments cards when it wasn't supposed to because of the wording. Remember how long that compensation took? Weeks, man. It took a long time. I would imagine it's still a week away from now until we get these extra red picks if you are eligible for them. So if you're getting the free red picks, if you open rewards anytime between Friday night and like Tuesday midday, you're probably getting another set of player picks. And, you know, you're probably not going to get them also until next week. So for me, I'm actually going out and I'm looking at these cards as really good short term flip investments, because what do we also see on Wednesdays, right? The middle to high tier cards that are in the most demand. We saw this last week with La Liga, guys like Valverde, guys like Kunde. Um, I think Lewandowski had a really big rise as well. They get really low and then they actually go up a lot after the guaranteed SBC, right? I bet we could find the graph on Valverde. Uh, actually, maybe we can't find the graph because that is very zoomed out. But um, maybe last Thursday we can see it. No, not really. Anyways, you know, with this League One Tots team, I would expect that that middle of the top tier, the Ben Yedder, the Varadi, the Jonathan David, Marquinhos, Nuno Menge, I think is such a such a very important card for people to link in their squads with so many people having Kimpembe and so many people still packing League One Tots cards. This one to me has got my kind of interest as yes, it's a lower tier card that's probably going to get packed from the guaranteed Tots pack a decent amount today. But for a lot of these kind of higher tier cards, I am looking at them very Interestingly, for a potential rise in price, whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow, I think we might be near the low point, guys, on some of these. I actually picked up a couple of Jonathan Davids under 550,000 coins, right? And he's not affected by this player pick. He's been in red player picks, and his price is down so much, right? He was 540. He's now back up a little bit to 560. With weekend league rewards being paid out today on Monday, I just think, guys, that for some of these, this is the low point, and it's a good time to potentially buy for a quick flip or for your team. Now, I will say this, one thing that we've been talking about all week and we've been looking at with these cards since Friday and especially after yesterday is, again, what was the reason that a lot of these guys dropped off yesterday? Supply, tradable supply from that store player pick as people were opening that and just look at Marquinhos, 485 down to 380, right? Crazy drop there. I, I do feel like these guys are a bit of a tough and a risky investment because they are very supplied compared to other team of the season cards. So maybe you don't go all out. Of course, we've got ultimate team of the season and still Serie A team of the season up ahead. But for some of these guys, they're the most rare, most popular, and the most meta. You guys know that's the combination, right? Rare, popular, and meta. Um, that's some of these cards that I am taking a look at right now. I picked up a Lacazette for 151. I picked up like four or five Jonathan Davids. I picked up a Ben Yedder at 620 or 629 or something like that. So I do think these guys can have a rise today, whether it's before or after. Um, the store pack, I mean, these prices, I literally just logged on to make this video tonight and I saw these prices and I was like, uh, excuse me, what the heck happened? But I think it's a combination of those two things. People panic selling because of those rewards are going to be given out. And again, those rewards are not going to be given out in a short amount of time. It's going to take days, if not weeks to get those released. So I don't think we have to worry about those for, for like a flip that would be into this weekend. If you want to play this next weekend league with some of these guys, I think you should be at least pretty safe and okay just don't mess with the low tier man again think about this guaranteed tots pack today let's move into that conversation the guaranteed league one tots pack is of course 
a highlight every single week. But also every single week, it seemed like the low tier players is all that you get, right? And it's going to be the same way today, guys. A lot of Fofanas, Toribos, Cabelas, Andres, the Samba guaranteed, the Klaus guaranteed today, right? You're going to be very lucky if you see anything even above a Medina today. Let's be honest. But everybody's still going to do the SBC uh, because, you know, you want to have that chance for something amazing to happen to you, for lightning to strike on your FIFA Ultimate Team and to somehow you pack a Lacazette or you see the France striker walk out and you see it's you maybe maybe it's Ben Yedder or Mbappe, right? And you get super duper lucky. We're all going to do the SBC still today. Uh, but again, this is a very big turning point for the market every single week on Wednesday. So the lower tier though, again, I would say only be stocking it in the club if it's a fodder. And I mean, Cabela and Toribo at 91 rated cards for that price is crazy. They are the cheapest 91 rated by a lot. And it's actually dragging all the other 91s down. It's actually a decent idea right now with the Dino SBC still out, a Eusebio SBC still to come. I would maybe club stock a Benzema, a De Bruyne, a Lewandowski, because those guys could all be in ultimate tots next week. And with those cards being as down as they are, I think there's a potential rise there just because they're high rated. And you've got, again, Dino and like a Eusebio SBC with very high rated squad requirements in there that has been keeping those cards. I mean, they were these guys were 30K before today. So that's kind of one thing that I would do there on the fodder side of things. Just be careful buying anything in the low tier in this team because it's probably going to get packed a lot uh, today. Untradeable, but people would maybe go and sell it. Now, speaking of fodder a bit more, you know, the fluctuations aren't as great this week. Look at 85, 7.8K. Now, these guys were above, wow, that's a crazy undercut that Footbin caught there, 6.2 on Jan Summer. These guys did spike yesterday to 9,000 coins. I think they'll do the same thing today, especially because, again, the guaranteed TOTS pack. How much is that going to cost today? I would have to guess probably around 150 k If you need to stock anything in your club, I would do 83s to 86s. Also get a team of the season card in your club. I think the cheapest TOTS card right now is like 18 k uh, yeah, 17, 18 K for Bardaki. I'm sure a lot of you guys have Tots Club cards in your club already, but if you don't go in and uh, get one of these in the club for 18 K, cause it's probably one of the SBCs will require, uh, one of those team of the seasons today. And then again, if you need some 86s, maybe a couple higher rated cards, 86s are now under 10 K. Maybe you just go in club stock one or two of those. Well, at least some 86s are right around that 10 K barrier. So fodder is probably going to have, again, the similar movements to the previous weeks. It's just not moving as much, right? Your 84s aren't 5k like they were last week. Your 85s aren't 11k. They're still, you know, like nine, seven to 9k, seven and a half to 9k. That's a good fluctuation. There's just not as much fluctuation as there was because the player picks are out and a lot of people can get fodder through doing those player picks instead of having to buy it. So other content we're going to see today, I have to do silver stars early today. Uh, because I got to get it done for the XP, but silver stars should be dropping today on this game. And, uh, I hope it's a good one because we need that XP. And I guess maybe today, if we, I don't think any silver stars has been double XP. That actually might be false. I think the one during Buenos Liga was, um, but just keep an eye out for that. They'll have a new set of XP there. If you're looking for that grind, that's where the XP will be today. And, uh, just to talk about that hour flashback a little bit, man. Um, I did buy a Talls in yesterday's video, and if you guys bought some as well, we talked about selling into the hype. That is always the safe play to do, and I'm glad that I did that because all of my Talls sold between 63 and 65,000 coins yesterday, and I, I'm I, again, I'm glad I sold those. I think he could be rising again today because every single day for today and tomorrow, if we don't get our, uh, people are going to be expecting that we get our. How much is he right now? He's back, he's right back down to the low 50k range. So he's probably going to go up to about 60k, uh, maybe even a little bit above that today on Wednesday, as people will hope and expect the our flashback. Again, uh, that's kind of our investment there. I might buy a couple more of these if I see like 52k. Might pick up a couple more because uh, I know Jonathan Klaas is coming back down, but this is that direct link to the our flashback. I still believe he is going to drop, but we just have not seen it. Yet. And then, of course, we got rewards today, right? And rewards always bring some coins to the market, and you see some prices go back up a little bit. Um, and also, if you're you're messing around with, like, non-rares or rares, if you invested in any of those, the rares are up to about... They were 950 to 1,000 yesterday. You got a lot of sales at there. They are now back down to 900 to 950. Yeah, they're about insta-selling at 900. So those rare golds maybe go to 1,000 coins today. I would keep an eye out for that. If you have those, start to lazy list them up on the market. 
and you should be able to get some sales there. There was one Atal yesterday that I forgot to sell. So I still have one Atal at 53K. I got to remember that. But uh, there's also a couple of leaks upcoming. And uh, I think for the purpose of today's video, we've talked a lot about what's going on in this game with like the red player picks and, and all of that. So I think we might forego talking about the leaks because there's not any leaks personally that I believe are going to be happening this week. It's more so looking forward. We're probably going to get some more Serie A team of the season leaks um, today on Wednesday. Watch out for a loading screen as well. It's been a very, very popular thing they've been doing the past couple of weeks is on Wednesday has been dropping a loading screen. That could be something we see today that could begin the hype a little bit more for the Serie A leaks. We'll probably talk a lot about those in tomorrow's video because I just feel like it's coming and it would make sense. This is a 90 rated Lukaku for a very low price. 23k. I'll pick that up. But um, yeah, that's going to be the video for today, guys. I mean, crazy yesterday with that objective that was kind of like, okay, EA, thank you. But also for some of us, it's like, that's a pain now that that objective is there and requiring XP, but I may not be able to get it done. Then of course, free red picks. Who could down, turn down free red picks? So I actually don't have my weekend league done yet. I got to go and finish these games and get four more wins because I am seven and two. It's been a solid weekend, busy weekend. Uh, of course, didn't have a lot of time to play. So I'm going to try to get my 11 and dip and maybe we get lucky with rewards today on stream. So if you want to see those, tune into the Switch stream. The link is down below in the description. We'll be live today looking at all the madness and of course, uh, opening those guaranteed team of the season packs from the League One. So if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan Wood Accountant. See you guys there. Peace out. <laughs>